Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing about the story entitled Atakuy Inanod written by Marcel Navarra. But let us know first who is Marcel Navarra. Marcelino M. Navarra is also known for its pseudonym as Marcel Navarra. He was born last June 2, 1914 in Tuyum, Carcar, Cebu. The career of Carcar native Marcelino Navarra, father of the modern Cebuano short story, covered three, year, three decades of active writing. He wrote poems and short stories with his pen name, Marcel Navarra. He also worked with Bisaya, Republic News, and Bulak. Tungod sa Kayagang, his first story, appeared in Nasod in 1931. His best-known story, Ugianod Ako, is a prize winner of Bisaya's literary contest. Among his influences were O. Henry Guy de Maupassant, Ernest Hemingway, and Anton Chekhov. He lived from June 2, 1914 to March 28, 1984. Some of his works were um, short stories. Short stories works were Iyang Kitara, Panimalus, Sulat Nga Binuksan, and Tawus Elawom Sa Sutana. And some of his poetry works were Koloriana, Kaadlawon, Kanimu Prising, Mga Tapos Na, Naghulat, Nagsilag, and Pagbuot Sa Langit. So now, the intended learning outcomes for this discussion is that the students discuss comprehensively the literary selections employing the different theories. The story at Akoy Inanod is written that way for us to understand what he has done to his best friend. The story basically starts at the protagonist, Luloy, dreaming of Kid, his best friend, which turned into a lion and starts strangling him and calling him a traitor. As the story gets to the middle, we started to see the flaws of the protagonist. We started to notice that he is a good short story writer and can talk to girls really well, but it is also said in the story that his main weakness is women. He later realized that Kid also has a weakness against women, and it is when he cannot approach them well. Due to these flaws, they remain friends for a very long time. And now we're going to discuss about Lulu's weakness. So from the said introduction, Lulu's weakness is women. He easily gets tempted to women's flirtatious actions, which leads him to commit sin. Then, what is the significance of loyalty, honesty, and commitment to the person you love? So basically, these three are the most important ingredients in a relations, relationship. Now, it, uh, it is an ingredient to the success and stability of any lasting relationships, whether in friendship, couple, or marriage. Loyalty in a relationship is the strongest adhesive that can bind two souls together beyond comparison. Being loyal is being faithful to one's oath, engagement, or obligations. Being respectful to your partner. And loyalty is staying loyal even through bad times. The ultimate proof of loyalty comes in being there for each other, even through the darkest times. If you've already passed all the above criteria, know that this is the biggest test where most of us tend to fail. Sticking together and being loyal through thick and thin is what differentiates a healthy, happy, trusting relationship from a toxic one. Honesty is also significant in a relationship. Not deceiving or lying to your partner is perhaps one of the most sensitive aspects of a relationship, where the slightest changes can make everything fall apart. The very moment you start breaking the limits of a relationship, the very moment you start doing things your lover won't approve of, cheating begins. Thus, meaning you are no longer loyal. To make sure you do not break, break his or her trust, stop right away when you are engaging in actions that are disrespectful and acceptable in a relationship. 
lying to your partner is a complete no, and so is hiding facts. Remember, trust is only built upon honest truths. You cannot build a bridge with twigs. You cannot base a relationship upon lies. No matter what the situation is, always come clear to your partner. Choosing to be loyal, honest, and committed to the person you love in attitude, action, and words is a personal decision. So keep in mind, it's ordinary to love the beautiful, but it is beautiful to love the ordinary. And now, let us discuss the emotive dimension of Atakoy Inanod. At Akoy Inanod is a story that shows the effects of committing adultery. Committing adultery destroys your loved one's trust and faith. If we analyze the title of the story at Akoy Inanod, it seems like Loloy, the protagonist, was tempted and got carried away with his emotions when Pipita confessed her feelings to him. At Akoy Inanod is a letter sent by Loloy to his friend Kid expressing his thoughts and apologizing for his mistake. Lolo is a good short, r- short story writer, but his weakness to women made him appear bad. Committing adultery is a sin and is also considered immoral by the society, especially if you are already married. If our parents commit adultery, of course we will be hurt because this mistake would or will lead them or to our parents, fight, and then towards separation. Loyalty, honesty, and commitment are very important when you enter a relationship, especially marriage. Loloy does not have these traits as a man, and he keeps on having relationships with every other girl he likes. That's what makes him an unethical person because he committed adultery. And now, let's have the intellectual context of this particular story. So, the first thing that comes into my mind, I read the story, that the main scene of Loloy that made Kid mad is when he made love with Pipita. And to not telling Kid immediately, but instead, he wrote a letter of apology. But when we discuss it in class, we re- realized that, as told, Loloy is a good writer of a short stories. And he is charismatic in a way that he talks to girls well. And therefore, he becomes an unreliable writer because of this trait. In this particular story, we can say that this exists nowadays. Maybe someone experienced this thing around, but they are being tempted and carried away of their overwhelming feelings. But the only thing which could eliminate this certain trait of a person is honesty loyalty, and also commitment to each other in a certain relationship. We should control ourselves and our physical desires so that we could live peacefully without unethical manners that leads us to commit sin. In the other hand, we should also develop strong relationship with enormous love that shines within, not just with whom you love, but to all people that surrounds you and all things you're taking care of. I am hoping that you have learned something from today's discussion, which is about At Akoy Inanod by Marcel Navarra. Thank you for listening and have a good day.